Let's get into the okay, video. So first up, we'll be making a little, it's kind of a treat and a toy at the same time. Okay, so first you'll need some food or treats. Um, a toilet paper or paper towel roll. And some scissors. Okay, so, um, after you gather all your materials, you should cut your toilet paper roll or paper towel roll into whatever size you'd like, but you should leave like a centimeter maybe of room because you're going to be pinching it and like folding it in to trap the treats inside. Okay, so the next step would be to actually take it and kind of work its way like this. And I just didn't want to use any glue because I don't know how safe it would be for a rabbit. And so, okay, I'll be right back once I figure this out. Okay, so. I cut mine, but I had to do a retake because I can't do DIYs even though I have a crafting channel. So, what you're going to do is take your cardboard cylinder object, no matter what you want to use. I don't care, paper towel, toilet paper, those are the ones who I can name right now. But you're going to take this and cut it to the size you think would be good for your bunny. I have a big bunny, so I'm thinking a pretty small size would be good. Maybe the size of my finger. And I'm like 11, so my fingers are pretty small. And so if you're an adult, probably half the size of your finger if you have a drawer. But if you have like a Flemish giant, then, like, I bet pretty big. Enough to fit treats in and for them to have fun. Okay, be right back okay, when so I, I cut, cut my whatever it's called into a sizable size, a good size for a smaller bunny. And I forgot to mention this because I'm a thingling and you'll hear me say that a lot. I forgot to mention tape. Uh -oh. Let me get that. Okay. So, you will need tape for this. And I just have the thick type because I found it and that's what I'm using. But you can use the normal type. Okay. So, you're going to put the tape down and pinch this so when you put little treats they do fall out and you are going to tape it like that and i'll be back when i get it and only tape one side because how else are you gonna get the treats in okay, okay so this is what it should look like i didn't get it taped that much all the way in the bottom so you can kind of see through it but that is okay and it kind of reminds me of those juice things that you squeeze and the juice comes out of. Kind of. It's, it's a slush, not a juice. Okay, don't judge me. Okay, so you're gonna put that not aside, because that's the whole basically toy. So you're gonna take a handful or so of these pellets. And they're kind of thrown across my floor right now. Um and you're going to drop them in. into the little pouch without doing what I'm doing and throwing them everywhere. And then you are going to pinch it and it will be kind of a square, rectangle-y shape. Not that much as I wanted and you're going to take this and I'll come back with the finished thing and some clips of maybe my bunny playing with it. And he may not play with it, this little like before now I think, because he's pretty new and he's still 
like I got him basically yesterday. Well, it won't be yesterday probably when this goes up. It might be. Um, but I got him on Sunday and he's still kind of getting used to everything. So, see you then. Okay, so this is, it's like a little packet square thing. It reminds me of those little pizza bites almost. And that's basically it. There's some treats in here. And I will see you at the end of the video. Um, I'm playing with it. I'm not sure if you call that playing with it. Maybe violently throwing it against the wall of this cage. Um, and you're probably wondering why the cage is on the floor throughout this video. It's just because I haven't really, I've recently moved, and so I haven't really gotten a table for him to go on yet. And so he's kind of chilling on the floor right now. He's kind of thrown around his toy that we just made him. And this is a two part video. Okay. Two part video. And so we'll also be making him a little house like thing for him to kind of go in and out of. And so I'll see you then. I lied. I said to you in the end, but I'm seeing you again because we're making something else and I've forgotten. Okay? For the next video, you'll need a box, which has one type books in it. Yours does not. I repeat, yours does not have to have books in it. Okay, I didn't repeat that. I repeated half of it, okay. You also need some scissors. Maybe some tape if you mess up, and if, you will need tape if you wanna make a little chimney out of the leftovers of the previous thing, this toy. just there also okay and so don't charge me for my mess with the lotion charger and this random luffy luffy bunny okay so you oh and i have to actually tell you what we're making so you will know if you want to make this or not don't i I need a finger, a hand finger. Okay, guys, and he will talk for me because I am a mystery. After I'm like the loudest YouTuber. Okay, whatever. Little weird episode of that. that not episode, but like, not tantrum. Like, I don't know, a weird moment. That's, that's what you'd call that. So you are going to start by taking a box that I cannot pick up, okay? It's empty inside. I don't know what's on this box. Okay, it's empty inside, good. Good, 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 that's, that's what you're supposed to do. And you can cut that flap off, but I'm actually gonna leave it so he doesn't like the floor. And I'm going to cut a sizable door. He's small, so I'm using a small box. Don't be glad. Like a giant or a duck. You're pretty good. Okay, not in it. A rabbit expert. I just have to. And you were going to cut a door. Be right back with me. Okay, so I've cut in a small hole. Small. That I'm almost positive you can fit. It's very dark in there. So, um, you could cut windows if you want. You could cut a hole in the top so we can stand up. But I'm gonna leave it pretty dark in there. And probably, well, it's basically use your imagination sort of thing. I'm going to cut some windows on these sides so we can poke his head out and it'll be cute. And um, I'll see you when it's finished. You can copy me like exactly. But I say just use your imagination. I'm going to add a little chimney, make it look cute. And so when he comes, your bunny comes out of the cage with floor time, or if he's a free range bunny, or if he, or even if he has his own room or her own room, um, then you can put this out and let him have fun. Okay, see what. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it got ruined. My, my magical moment got ruined. The camera isn't focusing. Okay, 
So, this is my finished. So far. Okay, this is my finished bunny house. I decided to take the bottom so nothing stuck up. Flash it. Okay, and the inside's pretty dark, but it kind of reminds probably the bunny. That's, that's my mess. Okay, it kind of reminds the bunny, I think, of a bird row. And you got a window here, and then a window over there. You can look at the bunny. Okay, so I have a bunny. Okay, I said I would add a chimney, and I did. And I like this box because it doesn't break through the chimney because there is a cardboard piece right here. So there is none, nothing sticking through, so the bunny can't. You know, stick his nose in there or anything. You know, just just in case I just didn't want it to get stuck. And I will say goodbye now because there's going to be a video of the bunny in it. Patches. There he is. And see what it's currently a bunny ride in the door. They ever tell you to, cl to close the door, little buddy? And I'm going to. Oh, he moved. He's in there. Oh. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. And I will see you another time with another vid. All right. Peace out. Bye.